Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, this is another episode of Violet with no makeup on. It is actually very, very, very late at night. I just got off my shift, and when I ended work today, I saw that I had an unplugged book box. Um, I'm going away next weekend, so I wanted to film this as quickly as possible to make sure that I could get it up in time so you all get, again, some <laughs> no makeup violet but i am in some cute pajamas i just ordered this jane Eyre shirt um from out of print books if you've never checked that website out um it's great um a lot of like indie bookstores carry some of their stuff but it's a lot of t-shirts and socks that are inspired by like classic novels um my it shirt that i've worn a couple times on this channel is from there as is that funicula shirt that i got in my most recent july 2021 book haul and I just love them. Their shirts are so comfy. And I just, I recently read Jane Eyre. I absolutely loved it. And I was like, I must get a Jane Eyre t-shirt. And here it is. So that is what I have today. But yes, so today I will be doing another Unplugged book box unboxing. Um, for those of you guys who have not heard of Unplugged, it is a monthly subscription box. There are two options that you can get. You can either get the young adult box or the adult fiction box. I always get the adult fiction box. YA doesn't really speak to me too, too much, so I usually tend to stay on the more adult side. And yes, it retails for $39.99 plus shipping and handling, which for me comes out to about $49 and change. And every month you usually get um, a book. Sometimes you get two books. I know this month I believe you will be getting two books. And then you usually get um, like five to seven self-care items. They also do a bunch of like seasonal or thematic boxes throughout the year. Their most recent one is the Summer Solstice box, which is a very witchy themed box that will be arriving in August, and I will be doing a full unboxing of that as well. Um, so yeah, so let's dive right in. So here we go. Here is our box. Let's open her up. <clears throat> so this is what she looks like all opened. And we get the spoiler card. So yeah, so our theme this month is Fearless for July 2021. And then I have all our little spoilers here. So let's, uh, let's go right on through. So yes, as I said, this month um, we were told we were getting two books. I have actually peeked at what the books are. Um, I actually just peeked to make sure it wasn't a book I was going to be pre-ordering because I read what the theme was and I was like, hmm, that sounds like something I'm interested in. But it was not. So I actually don't remember what the book was that I checked out on, but... I have seen what the books are. All right, so first up we get this. Let's see what this is. Okay, so we get like a, a tapestry looking thing. Here, let me see if I can show y'all. <clears throat> and it says, when I have a house of my own, I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. Cute, so that could be Beauty of the Beast or something like that. That's interesting i don't know what i'll use that for but it is interesting <gasps> oh oh i think i know what this says okay so we have this thing here oh tell me this is a juicer okay so it says the one lemon squeezer to rule them all so i guess it's uh lord of the rings themed but it is a juicer um if you guys have seen my meet the booktuber video y'all know i'm a bartender and i take my home bar very very seriously um, a good juicer is super important. Fresh squeezed lemon or lime in your drinks will make all of the difference. This is awesome. Um, this is 100% going to my home bar. This is so cool. I'm so excited about this. My boyfriend's going to be really excited about this. He does all the juicing in our household. Um, I don't like to juice when I'm home because I have to juice to, you know, make a living. That's fun. Okay, so then we get this little thing. Is this tea? Oh, I like when they give us tea. Okay, so this is from Simply Bookish Co. And this is an herbal cold brew tea blend. I have not ever had an herbal cold brew tea. I've never had a cold brew tea, but awesome. I love um, a Simply Bookish Co. I've gotten a bunch of their stuff before in prior um, boxes, not just unplugged, but a bunch of different subscription boxes that I've been subscribed to over the years. And I think they're phenomenal. So this is great. I'm very happy with this. They usually always give you a tea strainer when you uh, get tea. Let's open this up. Oh, this is really cute. So it's this little butterfly that hooks onto your teacup. 
And then you have, of course, your little tea strainer to fill it up with. This is really cute. This might be the cutest one they've given us. They gave us like a little like um, a sprout and then a swan as well. Um, both I was really happy with, but this is really adorable, especially because you can just pop that right on your cup and it's just so cute. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so next we have this little box. Oh, it's honey. Holy shit. Okay, so we get um, Dickinson's Pure Honey. Maybe that goes with the tea. I don't know. I like honey quite a lot. I've had a lot of artisanal, artisanal honey over the years. I went down to Savannah a couple years ago and they had this really cute market and there was an entire all like a, there was an entire artisanal honey stand and it was one of the coolest things I've ever been to. I mean, all of the honeys were amazing. So I really love honey and um, this is super cute. I'm very, very happy with this. Oh my god, okay. So then we get this as well. We get a cute little like, um, I don't know what these things are called, little honey grippers or whatnot. And it says, um, the pedigree of honey does not concern the A clover any time to him is atrocity. So I'm assuming this is a quote from a book. Um, very cute. I love this. This is so adorable. That's like one of those things that like you never knew you needed, but now that I have it, I'm like, very pleased that I have that. Okay, and then we get, um, oh, so this is gonna be our Petricourt ink package. I feel like we've been getting something from Petricourt ink almost every single month. We were getting candles pretty frequently, but that seems to have stopped. I was really excited about that. I loved getting candles in the boxes. Hopefully I'll get one in the summer solstice box, but I do like getting my little Petricourt ink stuff. Um, they usually seem to really go together and I really like how they smell. Um, and this is, oh, this is a body butter, okay. So this is Simon, that's the, the name. And it's passion and burning for you. You deserve everything your heart desires and is an avocado body butter. Let's see what she smells like. Oh, that does smell very like passion fruity, I think. Um, this is really nice. Um, I really like their body products. I've been using um, a couple of their stuff that I've got in my last couple boxes and I'm obsessed with it. I don't know what Simon is from, but I guess we'll find out with our spoiler card. Okay, so then we get ways to embrace courage um, and our journal prompts for this month. As you guys know, I really love the journal prompts that Unplugged sends you every month. I do actually use them every month. We get um, this bookmark and it says Gargoyle Queen. And then it says, talk about the books, capture the crown, tear down the throne, conquer the kingdom, which all seem to be books by Jennifer Estep. I've never heard of them, but I do like this little bookmark. It's very cute. I love gargoyles. Um, I have some gargoyle bookends in my library, um, actually right behind me that I'm a huge, huge fan of. My friend got them for me for my birthday last year and I do love them. Let's see, we have what seems to be a note from one of the authors. Oh, and then we have a note from another author. And we have these cute little um, photos. So one is a little bookshelf, and then one is kind of a sketchy dude walking down an alley. <laughs> so definitely like this one a little bit more than this one, but this one's very cute. Um, and then we do get a signed book plate. And then we have our books. And uh, before I get to that, I'm going to read to you guys our August themes. So the adult fiction is come as you are, and the young adult fiction is something wicked this way comes. And then for the sneak peeks, the adult fiction boxes will feature two part items inspired by friends, and young adult boxes will feature a usable item inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's tales. That does disappoint me a little bit. I really wish that I was getting Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Um, they did a lot of Edgar Allan Poe themed stuff last year for like their Halloween boxes, and I was obsessed with them. So I hope that they continue that this year. I really enjoyed those. So I was teased that one of these books is like very heavily Rebecca inspired. I don't know if you guys saw, but I did just do a dissecting Gothic lit on Rebecca, which I was thrilled with. I love that novel. So very, very um, happy to get books like that. Okay, so the first book that we have is, all right, Capture the Crown by Jennifer Estep. So of course goes with the bookmark. And let's read what she's about. This is a really pretty crown. Okay, so it says, Jumba Ripley has a reputation for being a pampered princess who was more interested in pretty gowns, sparkling jewelry, and other frivolous things than in learning how to rule the kingdom of 
Andvari. Andvari? I think that's how you say it. But her carefully crafted persona is just an act to hide the fact that she is a powerful mind magier and a spy. Gemma is undercover, trying to figure out who is stealing large amounts of tear stone from one of the Ripley royal mines. When she encounters Prince Leonidas Maracone of Merta, her mortal enemy. Gemma tries to steer clear of the handsome prince, but when she finds herself behind enemy lines, she reluctantly joins forces with Leonidas. Also coming to Gemma's aid is Grimly, her beloved gargoyle. Despite the fact that Anvari and Morta are old, bitter enemies, a dangerous attraction sparks between Gemma and Leonidas. Further complicating matters is Leonidas' murderous family, especially Queen Maven Morricone, the mastermind behind the infamous Seven Spire Massacre. The closer Gemma gets to the stolen tear stone, the more deadly plots she uncovers. Everyone is trying to capture the crown, but only one queen can sit on the throne. Okay, so I kind of like the sound of this. Um, anthropomorphic gargoyles kind of sold me. I feel like apart from that, I would have been like, eh, I don't know, but it's called a gargoyle queen novel, so I'm down with that. It's got little gargoyles in the cover as well. I don't know, a fantasy is one of those weird things for me where I either really, really love it and enjoy it or it feels kind of like a drag if like the world building and the characterization isn't perfect in my eyes. I kind of feel detached from it. But I really like gargoyles, I like the lore of gargoyles, and I think it's interesting that they haven't spoken about gargoyles a lot in literature. So I'm definitely very happy about that. Um, this novel says, this is action at its finest by uh, Charlene Harris, who wrote True Blood, all of the True Blood books. So I will definitely give this a chance. Um, the gargoyles spoke to me in this one. However, this is the book I am most excited about. So this is The Stranger Behind You by Carol Goodman. We do have the signed book plate for this one. This is the book I was told is very Rebecca-esque. And this is what this one says. Journalist Joan Lurie has written a seething article exposing a notorious newspaper tycoon as a sexual predator. Ooh, it sounds very relevant as well. But the night it goes live, she is brutally attacked. Traumatized and suffering the effects of a concussion, she moves into a highly secure apartment building in Manhattan called The Refuge which was at one time a Magdalene laundry. Joan should be safe here. So how can she explain the cryptic incidents that are occurring? Lillian Day is Joan's new 96-year-old neighbor at the refuge. In 1941, Lillian witnessed a mysterious murder that sent her into hiding at the Magdalene laundry, and she hasn't come out since. As she relates her harrowing story to Joan, Joan sees striking similarities to her own past. Melissa Osgood, newly widowed and revengeful, has burning questions about her husband's recent death. When she discovers a suspicious paper trail that he left behind, she realizes how little she knew about her marriage. But it seems Joan Lurie might be the one who has the answers. As these three lives intersect, each woman must stay one step ahead of those who are desperate to make sure the truth is uncovered. So I'm very excited about this. This book I will be reading very, very, very soon. Um, I also like the theme. We went very blue with this, <laughs> so that's great. This book I'm all right with. I will probably get to it eventually. This book I will probably read in the next month or so. This book sounds really cool. I love mysteries. Uh, again, they sold it to me as being like very gothic, very Rebecca-ish, so definitely want to read it. Very happy. I like this two book thing. I do. Um, Unplugged is a weird box for me because I feel like a lot of times I adore the self-care products and the whole self-care aspect of this box and the books are kind of really hit or miss for me but when they're a hit they really are a real hit for me um like again The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher it's one of the best books I've gotten from Unplugged if not the best you know Prosper's Demon, The Boatman's Daughter like they do have some really good books sometimes other times, not quite up my alley. I really am gravitating towards The Stranger Behind You um, this time. Um, not as much as Capture the Crown, but I think I will actually read both and hopefully enjoy both. So let's go through the spoiler card really quickly. So we have a Pride and Prejudice tea towel. Oh, thank God it's a book I've read. Okay, I, I like when some of the things that I really don't understand happen to end up being things that I have read or know. Um, this doesn't really feel like a tea towel to me. It feels like a banner. I have some tea towels, but that's fine. I will use it. Um, I can definitely use, always use some tea towels. It's very cute too. 
Um, and then we get the Emily Dickinson Honey and Dipper. Oh, so they're both Emily Dickinson. I haven't read anything by Emily Dickinson since I was in high school. From what I remember, she was extremely depressing, but that's fine. I love Honey and I'm super, super excited on this dipper. This is so cute. So fine with that. Uh, we get All Boys Aren't Blue Tea, which is apparently inspired by a book by George M. Johnson. I've never heard of that. I do uh, like this tea. And then we get the butterfly tea strainer that goes alongside with it. We get the Lord of the Rings lemon squeezer. Y'all know I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. Um, and then Bridgerton Body Butter, which I've never seen Bridgerton. I've heard it's great, but I haven't yet to see it. But I like the smell of it. I like um, Petrichor Inks lotion, so very happy with that. And then of course we get Capture the Crown and The Stranger Behind You. I'm very happy with this box. I'm very happy. It has a book. This is the first time in a couple months that it has a book that I'm really excited and interested in reading. Um, it's got some really useful, very cocktail oriented items in here like the juicer and the honey i can use both of those in some really fun cocktails um again i'm a bartender that's how i think tea towel that's fine it's cute it's from a book that i've read which makes me feel better if this was a fandom that i didn't know i feel like i would be like very like i don't know what i'm gonna do with that tea never upset about and the body butter never upset about so yeah, I'm very pleased with this box. Mostly pleased that there were two books that gave me two options of what I wanted to gravitate towards and one I'm very, very excited about. So thank you Unplugged for that. I love when you guys pretty much send me a book that I am first off enthralled to read, which I think I am this time. So very, very, very stoked on that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday. If you guys enjoy my videos, please hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, and I will see you all later. Mwah. Bye.